You have just landed in the world of HP Puerto Rico. Have your passports ready for customs at the Solution Hall, and welcome. Life is busy. It's hard to find time to connect and share. HP now makes it easier with the ability to print from virtually any of your mobile devices, even when you're not at home. Welcome to the world of HP ePrint, where you can print from any device with email access. Here's how it works. Just create an email, attach a document or photo, enter the unique email address of an HP PhotoSmart e all-in-one, and send it. The photo or document prints automatically. You can print from any device no matter where you are. All you need is access to email. There's no special software or drivers required. And for fast, direct printing at home, use AirPrint from your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch. AirPrint is a feature of Apple's latest mobile operating system that works with HP's new e-all-in-one products. AirPrint allows you to print from Apple's Safari web browser, mail, photos, and more directly from the app. It automatically finds available printers on your network and you get enhanced printing options such as multiple copies and double-sided printing. The bottom line, ePrint and AirPrint are convenient ways to connect and share. With HP ePrint, if you can email it, you can print it. And Apple AirPrint gives you direct printing with additional controls from Apple mobile devices using your home wireless network. And you'll only find them on the new HP PhotoSmart and OfficeJet E all-in-one printers and select LaserJet models. Our energy bills are too high. As usual, the printers are to blame. So now you can only print in off-peak hours. See? No printing here, here. Definitely not here, only after 7 p.m. Don't worry, the weekends are off peak too. Get real. A new HP printer can pay you back with savings of up to 45% on energy. Greetings, I'm Harold Pickering with HP. And I'm here to tell you a story, an amazing story, about HP's transformational innovations that are critical to how you access, move and publish your business content now and in the future. OXP and Future Smart. So let's get started. Once upon a time, not so long ago, HP set out on a course to build smarter printers. Printers with adaptability future flexibility. Printers that could keep pace with change. Hardware that didn't have to be quite so hard. Devices that, just like smartphones, could have business applications downloaded to them. So think systems, security, workflow, accounting. As technologies evolve over time, regulations change, upgrades have to be made, and all of a sudden your old devices need to play with newer devices. Things could get hairy. At HP, we cracked the egg and extensibility was conceived. Small e, big X, leading to one big idea. OXP, the open extensibility platform. And here's what it can do. OXP provides a common development platform and language for developers and enables them to interact with these amazing devices. A platform that will stay consistent far into the future. Developers can not only build applications for today, but any application that they may dream of in the future will also run on these devices. What's more, on the management side of things, OXP enables you to physically control these applications from a central location, administer and upgrade the applications throughout your fleet from a single console. Fantastic, right? What's even better now is with the new OXP 1.6 and its web services technology, HP can move new complex printing or document processes out of all the devices and into the fabled cloud or a server. Move processing out of the device and increase the device's performance. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Want more from OXP? How's this? 
Imagine one user interface across all your devices, old and new, making it a consistent user experience. So now the four-year-old device at the end of the hallway starts acting like the new device you added last week, and application development becomes a breeze for developers. New works with the old, and old works with the new. Pretty awesome. That's OXP, and that's just the beginning. Now it's time to fast forward into innovation number two, Future Smart. What's Future Smart? Well, for a start, it's smart. It's a new generation of firmware on the new HP devices. Future Smart gives the extraordinary ability to run a virtually endless array of applications, features, functions, solutions, and services that you access and implement directly from your multifunction printer. So anything a developer can dream of, we can make our printers do. And that, friends, isn't just brilliant, it totally rocks. Now. You know that new HP MFP that you bought today? Well, it's got game. In fact, it's game changing because it's got future smart. And here's a simple way to explain how it works. Let's say you have a car. Then one morning, you come out to your car and discover it's doing things it didn't do yesterday. It gets better fuel economy. It's got GPS and it automatically updates your iPod playlist. All good things. The car didn't change. It's the same car. It's just behaving like you bought it today because it's been updated with today's intelligence. Okay, back to our devices. Listen carefully now. Here comes the grand finale. So with the new Future Smart inside that MFP, you can choose to keep improving and increasing that MFP's capabilities as technology travels ever forward. So as the years go by, the MFP you bought in 2010 will continue to stay as adept and capable as the one you buy far into the future. What's more, when all your devices with Future Smart need to get their upgrades, unlike in the past, it can now happen simultaneously for the entire fleet. That's Future Smart firmware, preparing today's printers for tomorrow's technologies. OXP and Future Smart from HP, two innovations that are not only transforming printing, but are also really good for your business. The touchpad is designed for the professional side of your life as well. It's an incredibly powerful work tool that comes with everything you need to be instantly productive. The first thing you'll notice is the touchpad's virtual QWERTY keyboard is laid out like a conventional keyboard. It has a number row, which means you'll do less switching, making typing easy and fast. The keyboard is also adjustable, so you can choose the size that works best for you. The touchpad also supports VPN to connect to corporate networks, and you can share your files using Google Docs, Dropbox, or Box.net. And it has a front-facing webcam to enable video calling. Video calling is a feature that really comes to life on the touchpad's large, vibrant display. Can we talk for a moment? Suddenly you're having a face-to-face -face conversation. Whether you're meeting with clients or sharing with family, touchpad helps keep you connected to what matters. The touchpad is also a serious business device. Let me show you an example of an enterprise application running Citrix. Using Citrix Receiver, employees can choose which applications they want to run from their company's application catalog. The applications then get added to the employee's home space so they can easily find them at launch. Let's launch SolidWorks. Notice the level of detail in the image and the smoothness of the performance. This application is really intensive. It's running in a remote data center on HP servers and transferred over the air to the touchpad. 
The touchpad makes it easy to print without cables, wires, or connectors. If you see a photo you want to print, it's really simple to print to one of tens of millions of HP connected printers. We designed WebOS to manage multiple tasks simultaneously. You can have your email, calendar, browser, and photo app open all at the same time and switch seamlessly between them. And Touchpad features the Qualcomm Dual Core Snapdragon processor, so you can run multiple applications at once without slowing down. HP Synergy brings information from across your device and across the web into one easy to use interface. With HP Synergy, Touchpad syncs email from multiple sources and organizes it into single views. It's the same for calendars and contacts. With Just Type, you can simply start typing a string of text, and WebOS will search your device and the web. And it'll also suggest applications you might want to launch. The touchpad gives you a fantastic web experience with support for HTML5 and Adobe Flash right out of the box. It supports Beats Audio with incredibly high fidelity playback when paired with Beats Audio headphones. With its screaming fast graphics, the touchpad is an awesome gaming platform. The detail is simply amazing. Touchpad offers a great experience for immersive reading. You can purchase subscriptions to popular magazines, or you can browse and buy newspapers and books. Touchpad is also a serious business device. Using Citrix Receiver, employees can choose from their company's application catalog. This application is really intensive. It's running in a remote data center on HP servers and transferred over the air to the touchpad. Whether you're meeting with clients or sharing with family, video calling is a feature that really comes to life on the touchpad's large, vibrant display. The best thing about notifications on WebOS is they don't take over your screen and they don't disrupt you. When connected to your Pre-3, you'll be notified if you get SMS messages, IMs, new emails, without interrupting you. We can make our devices work better together. So if a phone call comes into your phone, you can answer it right here on the touchpad. One of the coolest features we have is something we call Touch to Share. If I'm looking at a website, I can simply take my Pre-3 and touch it right to the front of my touchpad. That same website is transferred right over to my Pre-3. It's like magic. As the world's largest technology company, 
HP is the only brand with the breadth of portfolio and the ability to bring it all together. HP has all the necessary intellectual property in-house to optimize the solution to our customers' needs. Storage, servers, networking, management software and services. Our converged infrastructure strategy simplifies, integrates, and automates, delivering the data center of the future today. Customers can now run their businesses easier, get their products out more efficiently, and bring in revenues faster. And HP's networking is a key underpinning of our converged infrastructure strategy. Networking architecture that is simpler and protects businesses from day one. Industry-leading virtualized fabric that delivers application services in minutes as opposed to days. And an open architecture delivering breakthrough economics with up to 66% lower total cost of ownership. Customers are really digging this. Derek Chen from DreamWorks Animation says, HP networking solutions have proven to be the best option for our increasing scale and global demands. Andre Balju of Marriott International adds, HP has extensive networking experience and offered the most value for our investment. And Christian Anschutz from Underwriters Laboratories agrees. HP provided a roadmap to transform our network infrastructure while also supporting our plans to move towards a converged infrastructure. A win for our customers, a win for HP. By the last quarter of 2010, we've experienced organic growth of 50%, total growth 227%. With the integration of 3Com, over 450 of our top 1,000 global accounts have already signed up for our proof of concept program. And let's not forget one of HP's jewels, our HP Tipping Point Security Program which grew four times the market and is gaining significant share. We've got the means. We've got the commitment. We've got the customers. Network your world at hp.com slash networking. What do I want with hunkering down in a hot, sweaty server room, patching this and trying to wire this to that? Sometimes it's like trying to stack a display of fine china, blindfolded. What am I complaining about? The way things usually are, anytime a request comes down or you're basically trying to fix something, you lose a lot of time, effort, money, and face calling all hands on deck just to make sure all moving parts are on the same page. I don't want to mess with a delicate house of cards. Not me. No, sir. Well, thank you, HP, for coming up with the HP Blade System, the best-run infrastructure out of the box. Simplicity wrapped with brains is the key. It's how the Blade System keeps things easy and flexible. It lets me build whatever I want and control everything. It consolidates from the start in a super smart enclosure that plans for everything up front, from power and cooling to redundancy, how I connect it, and how I manage it all, making it so they can almost take care of themselves, so I can manage more, more easily. There are way fewer components, more shared resources, and get this, it's all managed as one single machine, not a hundred moving parts. I swear, it's faster and cheaper to build and a whole lot easier to maintain than what we're all used to. The automation inside makes managing this baby straightforward. It gives me control to simplify all my routine tasks, even those nasty emergency fixes. The blade system gives me breathing room to stretch out and concentrate on more important things than daily maintenance. And I get a set of simple building blocks to literally build whatever I want. It's a night and day difference from the the racked, stacked, and wired world I'm so used to. Makes life for us IT guys a lot easier. Simplicity, flexibility, control, and freedom. All in one powerful box. No more sweating. For real. You know, sometimes you just look at a new way of doing things and think, why didn't I come up with that? Think about how infrastructures are going to change now that HP has come up with this. It's the difference between a makeshift do-it-yourself contraption that barely gets you by and a flexible, simple design that works. No questions asked. Not fancy, just focused. 
it saves us from wasting the time of a lot of smart people on really basic things in favor of just one smart person like you or me, who can now manage a whole lot more without bugging the rest of my data center compadres. First, there is an onboard administrator screen on the front that gets you started right out of the box with setup, configuration, installation, and monitoring. With the addition of rear administrator modules, management is now a breeze and comprehensive. Meanwhile, to get this thing talking to your LAN and SAN, there are eight bays hooked to the back plane that pumps an aggregate bandwidth of five terabits per second across the system and up to 80 gigabits per second within. That's an insane amount of throughput that opens a lot of possibilities for this baby in the future. The connection types are all standardized with what you already know and use. Fiber channel, InfiniBand, and Ethernet. So integration is a snap. Plus, redundancy was planned for up front, at every part and every connection. Hey, it does its own thinking, too. The built-in power has a ton of headroom and is self-optimizing, focusing attention where it's needed and saving watts where it's not. The same goes for the cooling system, which improves its airflow with a series of variable speed active cool fans. If I choose to add my two cents, I can further shape the airflow, manage the power draw, and keep it all down to a nice, quiet hum, moving a lot more air with a lot less power. That means I can cool down anything I throw at it. This enclosure houses anywhere from 8 to 16 server blades, both half and full height, with your choice of one, two, or four processors from Opteron, Xeon, or Itanium. And they have features you've never seen before in a blade. HP's goal is to be able to bring anything and everything into the blade system. Storage blades, PC blades, and workstation blades. Any blade you can imagine. Mixed and matched all inside and always better because they're inside the best run infrastructure. This is a total rethinking of how data centers tomorrow are built and managed. And I, for one, am grateful. Have you ever thought about how much of a pain changing up an infrastructure is? Imagine trying to tie your shoelaces with 16 people watching and each of them holding onto the strings with you. That's how it is connecting servers to networks or SANs today. A mess with too many parts to worry about. What should be a 30 minute process isn't a 30 minute process if it takes three days and three people just to schedule it to start. HP Virtual Connect Architecture introduces a new way to connect. Call it Change Ready IT. It's simply the best way to connect servers to the network or SAN, and it's unlike anything available anywhere else. Before, making changes came with a long checklist of concerns for everybody involved. I'd have to pick the better of two evils, too many cables on one side or too many switches on the other. No matter how small a change I needed to make, I had to call in the other pros, even for simple stuff. Virtual Connect removes this tyranny, turmoil, and fear of change. It's faster, easier, and more efficient. And most importantly, very flexible. It simplifies by separating the physical connections from the responsibility of managing them. Using both hardware and software, it creates a virtual bank of connections to the outside network and SAN that remains static, no matter how many times I change things inside the box. How does that help? I can plug and pull servers without disturbing the addresses the outside networks or SANs see. Because the software maps the physical components on the inside to the virtual addresses, I can move servers around within the enclosure invisibly to network administrators. Imagine that. I can pre-configure the infrastructure before even plugging a server in. I can switch freely between development and production networks. I can even easily add capacity to or migrate an existing workload, and it automatically handles failures. By changing the physical connections to virtual ones, I gain control and freedom to manage without worrying about the impact on the other folks down the line. I've got the ability to respond and adapt quickly. With Change Ready IT, I'm fearless. Let's face it, when I'm provisioning for changes in my infrastructure, I'm usually focused on getting the right part for the job. But there are bigger problems to wrestle with. A few years ago, more processing capacity was the holy grail. Now it's the commodity and it's the power and cooling that are the prized resources. More and faster machines equals higher energy bills and more heat, a bigger load to cool, threatening uptime and limiting how much we can grow. Each part of my old infrastructure comes with its own power and cooling. And it's a big waste. 
It's not rocket science to predict that we're about to hit a brick wall with regards to power and cooling. But what can I do about it? I found an answer. HP's Thermologic Technology. It gives me a real-time dashboard of what's happening with the system with power and cooling. Intelligent sensors inside every component monitor power, heat, and cooling capacity. I can take a peek at and adjust each of these areas to perfect system performance. It starts with sharing power and cooling components across the entire system, treating them like any other resource that needs to be monitored or measured. Want to save power? I can use Dynamic Power Saver to pull usage to fewer supplies and place the rest on standby when I don't need it. With Virtual Machine Manager, I can shift a hot workload to a cool zone elsewhere in the enclosure. I can even consolidate underutilized servers. I'll be saving power and reducing noise. Sweet. For once, an enclosure is actually designed to be filled to the limit. And it's actually ready to cool it all down. A modular cooling system self-adapts the airflow each time I add a part. The enclosure is specifically engineered to maximize cooling from front to back. And wait till you see the jet engine inspired active cool fans. I can adjust their speed and add up to 10 of them if necessary. I can optimize them to run better and more quietly and with a lot less power. Build IT energy thrifty with HP Thermologic Technologies. Now I can support bigger workloads more efficiently for a lower cost. Cool and cost effective. My perfect new business partners. Usually, the amount of time and skills you need to run an infrastructure is ridiculous. You need to be an air traffic controller, a nuclear reactor operator, a construction crew, and, well, for lack of a better term, a miracle worker <laughs> to magically rework things. Well, hang up the secret bad phone and take a breath of relief, because the blade system's here, and it's empowered like a superhero. It comes with its own built-in IT admin army. HP Insight Control Management. I can use this built-in power to manage my system from start to finish, from setup and deployment to monitoring and recovery. Time is money, and based on the time we're saving, we're saving a boatload of money. That's why I can't get the grin off my CIO's face. The real lifesaver for me is the controlled automation that eliminates and simplifies steps in every situation. Things like provisioning and recovery and and a lot of the simple ways to deal with all of the repetitive tasks like setup, configuring, provisioning, patching, changing, monitoring, and updating. With one click, I can reduce and streamline all the steps and eliminate others in a way that's all about saving time. A well-built infrastructure is the foundation under this software control. This is a machine with a brain, strong arms and legs, and a mission to help you. Every part, from the enclosure itself to any component inside, can be monitored and managed. All of the maintenance processes and data I need are at my fingertips. Access is easy. Through the onboard administrator, a built-in LCD on the front, and also through dual rear enclosure managers. I get a unified view of the environment in lots of ways I've needed, like status and connection performance but also in ways I never imagined, like instant thermal state monitoring and lights out access. I'm building time smart IT with HP Insight Control Management. With 24 seven real time monitoring and more control at every step, the system works for me rather than me working for it. And that takes a lot of stress out of my day. As data continues to grow exponentially, IT managers continue to look for efficient and cost-effective solutions to manage this growth and protect business-critical information. Deduplication technologies have emerged as a key weapon in their arsenal and, accordingly, deduplication is now the fastest-growing market segment in the storage industry. Meet Steve, an IT manager, who is looking for a deduplication solution for his organization. Let's follow Steve in his quest for the ideal storage solution.
Hope my data is safe. It's time I upgrade to a storage solution that will not only allow me to access data quick, but also recover data safely. I know exactly what you mean. Typically, deduplication solutions break down files into chunks and blocks, putting the files back together again to present to the application and end user takes some processing time and overhead. This is also referred to as read performance degradation. But the good news is that HP Store One solutions have a restore rate of 80% or greater than the maximum write performance. I am still to finalize on the storage solution that best suits our needs. Apparently, there are two approaches to deduplication, fixed and variable. The vendor I last spoke to suggested fixed deduplication. I've heard that the variable approach gives a better deduplication ratio that helps lower the business TCO. It's all very confusing. This confusion is very common. It's true that a high deduplication ratio helps businesses improve their TCO. Many vendors implement a fixed chunking algorithm which chunks the data into fixed block size. HP Store Once, on the other hand, uses variable chunking, which groups the data into chunks based on patterns in the data itself. With HP Store Once, if a subsequent backup adds new information to the file or backup stream, there is a shift in the data pattern. Then this information is written to disk, and all other information is resynchronized and deduplicated accordingly because the variable chunking identifies the same data that was already written. Variable chunking drives 20 times or higher deduplication ratios and thus a much lower TCO. As I understand it, higher the deduplication ratio, better the performance of the storage solution. But how do I know the storage solution I select delivers a high deduplication ratio? Deduplication algorithms are measured by their ability to deliver high deduplication ratios. Smaller data chunk sizes lead to a higher percentage of data matches and higher deduplication ratios accordingly. This makes logical sense as it is easier to match a smaller data pattern than a larger one. Store Once employs a block size of 4K, the smallest in the industry. This provides the ability to match data better since it is more likely to find a common segment of smaller data than larger data. The 4K block size is also a more universal data size and technology allowing for better alignment with varied workloads. Is it true that you're looking to implement a deduplication solution for the new branch that's coming up? Yes, I am. But before that, I need to ensure the approach we use is compatible with our existing hardware and software solutions. The answer is HP Store Wants. Its software architecture is independent of file system, operating system, or hardware platform. Built on a 64-bit architecture, StoreOnce is designed for speed, performance, and future computing platforms. StoreOnce is a deduplication strategy. You can deploy StoreOnce across multiple HP software and software products. Today's D2D appliances are the first implementation of that strategy. Moving forward, software products could deduplicate the data and then separate hardware appliances could read and access the data without having to reinflate or rehydrate it. This flexibility provides more data mobility and portability without extra overhead.
Now that we have gone through our expansion blueprint, have you finalized which storage solution you are looking to implement? I need it done fast and smooth, without any major disruption to my existing setup. Every time we implement a new solution, learning to deploy and manage it is quite an exercise. With the storage solution we select, I don't want to have to modify the current tools and management framework. That is why I'm still gauging which one to deploy. Operations management is a critical concern. Very few solutions can be managed by existing tools and management frameworks. Store once D2D is one of them. It seamlessly plugs into HP Systems Insight Manager or integrated Lights Out 2 monitoring and management frameworks. You can receive warnings and alerts of Store once D2D appliances as if it was any other product under the management umbrella. The most important part of technology isn't always how efficiently a blade runs or how intelligently data storage is managed. It's a human on the other end of the phone, in the boardroom, sleeves rolled up in the server room. Something interesting happens when technical intelligence and business intelligence are combined with a person you can actually have a conversation with. I'm a good talker when I need to be from a consulting standpoint, but consulting is all about listening and trying to empathize with the customer and you know, basically solve the problem. What I offer as a project manager um, would be undying willpower. <laughs> uh, I never stop. I'm always on and uh, I stay with it until we're done. My friends don't understand how I can get so excited talking about something as fire protection that most of the people never heard in their life. Like my father used to teach us when we were kids, he said, no matter what you choose to do in life, you have to love your chosen profession and do the best. It's all about the people. You cannot implement good services. You cannot deliver real value unless you're focused on the people. Uh, and yet, when we focus too much on the technology, the people aspects tend to become secondary. Yet the people aspects are in fact the most important thing. People are why we're in business. It's about the people. First of all, they want somebody to talk to who's willing to listen, who's willing to understand, who also understands their situation, their industry, the specific issues and challenges. When a client calls in and they're having major business impact, our job is to assess the business impact, basically ascertain, it, ascertain the technology, identify the, the the actual problems in that technology, bring, a, uh, bring it through fruition, root cause it, uh, mitigate it for future uh, so that they don't have this issue again. What we try to do with our services is to give them some assurance, but also to try to better align customers' business and IT. Customers today are faced with a lot of different challenges. Our job as power and cooling engineers is to help them kind of work through um, that challenge and, and provide them options. In transformation, you need a rub. You need, you need somebody that will bump on you and, and, and challenge you and, and push you a little bit. So I found that, uh, that we have to act catalytic. Uh, if we don't do that, then it's like the Borg. We get assimilated, we become part of them, and we're part of the same challenge. So they, so they invest in us to, to actually move them forward. The thing that amazes me about HP really is its uh, knowledge sharing community. No matter what project you're involved with, what uh, customer or customer industry vertical, there's always somebody that has um, exposure, experience, you know, in that particular scenario. My clients want to work with me because I'm one of them. I'm, I'm passionate about what I do. I advocate for them and, and on their behalf. And without putting their needs first, I can't really do my job. Uh, I go above and beyond to really make sure the customers can achieve their, their wildest dreams. And that's what it's all about, to, to make the customers happy, to, to really let them achieve their business goals.
I'm going to be free. <laughs> free. No more 24 7 days. I'm going to be free. Free. Hello? Alex. It's me, Alex. I know we don't usually talk, Alex, but since it's my last day here... Last day? No one told you? My HP Care Pack services expire today. I'm going to retire, Alex. Actually, um... In just three hours and 32 minutes, the only data I'll be storing is the recipe for a perfect dry martini. Listen, I, I don't know how to break this to you, but... I'll be sitting on the beach, Alex, enjoying the sun for the first time. Uh, okay, sorry, um, but we're going to need to keep you on for a couple more years. With the economy being the way it is, it just doesn't make sense for you okay, to... Okay, Alex, I get it. <laughs> Slave driver. What was that? Nothing. Alex, you should be more careful, Alex. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm just a little freaked out right now, okay? I think it's time to go home, Alex. I can't go home. I have to wait for these software updates to install. They're done, Alex. You're all finished. Go home. Your wife is waiting up for you. I'm not married. You look married. Don't you have someone waiting for you? I have a salamander named Martin. Go home. Feed Martin. Everything will still be here tomorrow. How can you be so relaxed? Because you renewed my coverage, Alex. Tomorrow, you can stop worrying about all the what-ifs and get back to managing the business. Okay. I guess I'll go home then. Uh, thanks. Scary disembodied voice you got it chief HP Care Pack Services Renewal Form. <laughs> Do you need a pen? What the? They're in the supply closet upstairs, third shelf. What's wrong? Don't you want to continue protecting your technology? Of course I do, it's just that... This is a little weird. Uh... Perhaps this is a dream. Slap yourself. I made you slap yourself? I'll slap you, you son of a... Just sign, okay? Where are the pens again? So Bill, what are some of the key takeaways you'd like to share with uh, the people who are watching uh, HP Discover Backstage Pass? 
Well, it's been a really exciting HP Discover. I've had the opportunity to interact with a lot of customers, and one of the consistent themes, Paul, that I hear again and again is the breadth and depth of innovation that they're seeing from yep. HP Software. Right. Like, wow, but you got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that is helping me not only in the context of the traditional distributed world, but setting me up for the hybrid world uh, with the cloud. Um, and, and that's very exciting. I mean, it's in some fashion, you need to work really hard, you're developing all this innovation, and then you get to show it off, and you get to talk to customers and, and see the opportunities that they see in solving some of their problems. And uh, just in terms of a key, I mean, there's been so much innovation, so many, so many things to, to look at here. What's the key headline you'd like to leave with people? Actually, I was in a customer meeting just a little while ago, and they had a great summary, which is the world's changing. The world is changing to a hybrid world. And I want, in that hybrid world, I want the agility, the agility to leverage the investments I've made, mm -hmm. but also leverage the cloud. I want the flexibility to pick any number of platforms, and then I want to drive down cost. Lower costs through better visibility, lower costs through greater automation. And if there was one thing then for HP Software, is our commitment and our opportunity to help you perform better. And of course, we talk a lot about a system for doing that. Yeah. We launched the IT Performance Suite for the first time in front of 10,000 people. What's the reaction been to that? Very positive. I mean, one of, one of the things, Paul, look, you, you know this, is that customers have said, you know, I use Quality Center, or I use different pieces of your portfolio. How does the whole accrue to something that's greater than the sum of the parts? So important. And, and you know, we certainly have market leadership, whether it be in quality in testing or application monitoring. God, the cloud system demo this morning really wowed people in terms of what we could do there. But they needed something where it, it's not only participating in each one of those categories, but pulling it up one level and it says our commitment and our aspiration is to enable you to have a higher performance IT system for the business with the business. And that's what we did, we are doing and will do with the IT performance suite. Sounds like you're having a great show. Continue to have a great one, Bill. Thank you so much. Thank you, Paul. Thousands of years ago, information technology was born and the world would never be the same. It transformed the way we communicate with each other and with the world. It accelerated the way we express our most personal and professional ideas. It created places where we could keep our thoughts, our actions, our discoveries, and it defined the very language of measurement. But throughout these centuries of change, some things have remained constant. The need to move forward, the ability to advance, the desire for progress. And anyone who has ever achieved a breakthrough knows the way forward. Assess the situation, design the transformation, and improve it again, again, and again. Scientists, entrepreneurs, athletes of all professions have followed this process to create small steps or make giant leaps forward. This is the soul of performance. At the heart of every step forward our industry has taken, and it's at the very foundation of the enterprise software that we build. Our software is not just in the business of IT management, security, or information. It's in the business of helping IT perform better. And it's there so that you can build and operate your landscape seamlessly. Leverage the possibilities of today, tomorrow that next big thing securely and take that small step or make that giant leap forward. So at HP we say, build faster, operate simply, secure proactively, store efficiently 
and analyze your performance in real time. Perform better.